Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and I've got a question today about UEFI BIOS firmware updates, or even for older machines, just plain old BIOS updates. And the question comes to mind because a, a user is uh, being told by the manufacturer to update its uh, UEFI BIOS, and the procedure warns in big capital letters that any interruption of the power or shutting down the PC while this is happening could have uh, big major consequences on the computer. And he's asking, what are these consequences? And should I be afraid to update or not my firmware? So here's the thing. Um, Firmware updates technically are always delicate in a way because they update the core of a chip that often controls everything. So a firmware update on your PC, like UEFI firmware, a BIOS update, uh, firmware updates and devices like a router uh, or any other device you have, if interrupted in the middle, well, yeah, some device is going to be bricked. Some devices are going to be totally useless if the process does not complete. So it does scare a lot of people to go into the update of the processes like that and going into the firmware updates of the machine because they are worried that it could mess up things. Also, there's always the question of what if I'm installing the wrong firmware and so on. In general, installing the wrong firmware is not much of a problem as the devices and as the update process will tell you, no, this isn't right for what you're using now. So it's usually not much of a problem. You know, you'd have to be unlucky, first of all. Uh, it had to be that you have a power outage in the middle of a UEFI firmware update, for example, to, to cause issues. And I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm pretty sure with the billions of computers that there's somebody somewhere that someday updated his firmware of a device or of the computer and power it out in the middle. I'm pretty sure it must have happened somewhere, uh, which is very unfortunate. But, you know, this is like a very low risk problem. Also today, there's a something else that you have to take into account. And PCs, when you're updating your BIOS, and your UEFI firmware, a lot of PCs today have fail safes, which means if it failed, if your computer shut down in the middle of the update or so on, usually you're not bricked. What will happen is yes, your PC might not want to boot up anymore, but the manufacturer often will have uh, a way of telling you, okay, if that happened, Here's a way to fix it. Um, I remember a lot of Asus motherboards had um, a fail-safe BIOS update process that if, for any reason, it failed and you crashed your motherboard, um, I still remember, I think it was a jumper on the board that you could just use, and it would revert to a fail-safe backup uh, process, a backup BIOS that was quickly put in place uh, to fix the problem. So a lot of the boards today have this failsafe and have a way to do it. But not everybody is in that uh, direction. And if that would happen, most of the time, the only way to really fix it is to have it sent back to the manufacturer and they will actually fix it. But in the case of should I be scared to do it, Honestly, no. Do it. And if they are recommending a firmware, UEFI firmware update, it could be for security reasons. We've seen a lot of mitigation going through with, you know, uh, Meltdown and Spectre 2, which are, um, you know, possibly security hazards. And there's, of course, all sorts of other things. Updating your BIOS is also a way of often fixing bugs. Maybe your PC is crashing. Well, you know what? There are crashes that are done because 
of a flaw in the UEFI BIOS of the machine itself. Uh, I see a lot of people asking me, well, you know, I try to install Windows and it always crashes with blue screens at the setup process. Well, it could be a fault in the UEFI BIOS. There could be a flaw there and it, it makes Windows crash. And a update of the BIOS might actually fix the problems. So uh, you should do it if they're asking you to do it. And honestly, even though most people never touch the updates for their core, the core of their computers, um, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing to update the, uh, the BIOS. It often has reasons to exist from security to bug fixes. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.